If you read it, you'll be laughing. Because it got to the point in the, in the 26th verse, it got to the point where Saul and his men knew they had they we got it. We got it. Be careful when somebody said we got it. We got it. We got it. They had they knew they had got it. They actually went to sleep. And when they went to sleep, the Bible says that Saul put his own spirit. This is what happens how God will step into the problem. A lot of times in our situation, if we just stop and let God start working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we just stop and stop trying to fix it, you know what? You know what? You can't fix what you didn't start. That's right. That's right. You can't fix that. You can't fix foolishness. That's right. Do you know that if we could fix foolishness, we would all go to Washington, D.C. right now, and walk up into the White House and say, you know what, you got to go. Amen. If we could fix it right now. But there is a way. Yeah. Yeah. There is a way. We're not dead in the water. There is a way. And, and before you start talking about, well, what we got ain't much, it's better than what's there. That's right. Come on now. Don't be afraid of what's there. Get it out. Don't be afraid. Don't fear it. So what happens is, as Saul is sleeping, his spear is right here. Oh, and it said his, 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 his equipment was right here. And his top guard, be careful who you put on watch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everybody ain't got your back. That's right. Right. Be careful who you say you got me. You got me to hold me up, you know people take it. No. Let me tell you something. There's only one that you can truly say got your back. There's only one that you can truly say I can take you with me anywhere. Yeah, right. There's only one that you can truly say no matter how hard it's going to get, he's going to be there all the time. Yes, yes. So as, as, as he's sleeping, as he's sleeping, David just creeps on him. God. David's captain said, the Lord has delivered your enemy yeah, yeah. into your hand. Let me kill him now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And David said, hold on. You might not like God's chosen. That's right. That's right. Come on, that's right. I'm trying to preach this morning. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You might not like God's chosen, but if God chose you, yeah, yeah. you need to leave them alone. When God anoints somebody, it ain't your call to say, oh God, I don't like him. No, if God anointed somebody and placed somebody somewhere, you need to leave them alone. They didn't have enough sense to know I'm not touching God's anointing. I ain't crazy. They ain't going to put that on me. I'm not going to carry that pain. I'm not going to mess with God's anointing. That's right. yeah. That's right. You're not going to do that to me. Uh -huh. You're not going to hold me accountable for that. That's a sin that I will not commit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Well, what he did, he said, let me say, he said, hey, get the spirit and, and get his water. And let's go. And in the morning, in the morning, he let them sleep. He didn't wake them out, they slumbered. But in the morning, David did two things. One, as he stood on the mountain, on top of the mountain, God didn't let you get that close to you, you on top of it. Y'all gonna see the picture. He stands on the mountain. Your, your, your enemies will be below you. Don't worry about it. God can if God gets busy, your enemies will be behind you. He, he was up on the mountain. When he was up on the mountain, he's closer to God than Saul was. Yeah. Yeah. But up on the mountain, he said, hey! Wake up! Uh, yeah. Hey! Yeah. You looking for me? Yeah. I'm right here. And he said, let me tell you how close I got to. Well, Matter of fact, hold on. Where's your chief captain? You ought to be killed because you didn't do your job. Hmm. You ought to be taken. They ought to take you out here. 
spirit yeah. and I have to be able to roll up on you. You want to roll up on somebody? Let me tell you something. I'm going to show you how to do it. My mama taught me this. If you're not a problem with somebody, you don't go to them. You go to God. Yeah. You got a problem with something? Yeah. You got a problem with your child? You don't well, you don't get in that child's face and try to make sense of everything. No, you got a problem with your spouse? No, you don't start to start arguing and fight. If you got a problem with your child, you don't worry about it. You go down on your knees. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, if you want to get the problem fixed, you just give it to God. Yeah. Yeah. God tells us. Tells us in his word, tells us in his word. Then Saul said, It's just an introduction. Uh, then Saul said, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> you had more respect for me all right, all than right. I did for you. Yeah. Yeah. You could have killed me, but you held my life precious. Uh, yeah. You held my life precious. And he said, come on home, son. I can't do you no more. I'm, I'm tired of acting. Oh, he said, the last thing he says was, I have played yeah. the fool with my time. I didn't mess up. But what is a fool? Somebody who does stuff unwittingly. Somebody who does not want to see the truth. Somebody that does just, just looking for trouble all the time. Nothing is serious to them. Nothing is important to them. And you sure are not important to them. He says, I play the fool. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible tells us about other fools in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So many different ones have been brought up in the Word of God. Yes, right. yes, yes. And, and, and I got five examples. But I believe that I'm only going to get through one. All right. The Bible says in Psalm, all right, the 14th chapter, mm -hmm. and in the first verse, it mm -hmm. says that a fool mm -hmm. has uh -huh. said in his heart there is no God. that there is no God. No God. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> y'all might as well come on. Mm -hmm. If there is no God. Five 
quatro, uhum. five, it's foolish. Uhum. The whole job of the story is to be prepared. John, huh? I'm preaching. John, the Baptist, when he came, he said, prepare yourself, for the kingdom of God is in hand. My brothers and sisters, as I go on my seat, are you prepared? Are you prepared? He's coming back. Are you prepared? He's coming back. They say when he comes back, he's going to be riding in a chair, coming down in a climb. Are you prepared? Or are you acting a fool? Saying I can do it all myself. I don't believe in no God. Well, I stopped by to tell you.
bring a message. You know, and so I look around, I thought about it as he was preaching. And I see a lot of people doing some foolish things. Yeah. Amen. We want to thank you and encourage Reverend Jesse L. Davis Jr. is a faithful preacher. You can always count on him to be here, whatever is needed. We want to now look at the names on our prayer list. On our prayer list, we're still praying for our own shadow, Baptist Church family, that the Lord would keep us together. We're still praying for our first, first lady, Alma Davis, who's here with us today. Continue to pray for Lady Kathy Pinker, uh, Pinker and the Evergreen Missionary Baptist Church. Please keep them in prayer, Sister Catherine Jordan, who's the mother of Sister Tef Tiffany Underwood, Esty Brooks, daughter of Sister Bobby Brooks, Sister Joan Harding, we're still praying for you. Sister Tan Leach and the homegrown of her uncle and all of the Marie families, Sister Claudia Hunter, the mother of Sister Rebecca Hunter, Deacon Eugene Daniels, whom the Lord has blessed to go through his surgery. We're thanking God for him. Still praying for you. Elder Phillips, our brother walked in without a walker today. What a blessing that is. And I can remember visiting him in the hospital not long ago. The Lord has his healing hand to the Mother Howard. We continue to pray for you, Mother. Sister Della Saint in the homegoing of her sister. I talked with her on this week. So we're praying for her. Sister Yasmin Davis's mother. We're praying for her as well. Also, the um, week before last, I talked to Deacon John Lewis. He's doing good. And he's asking that we continue to pray for him. And all of the other names uh, that I have been called that need prayer today. Let us pray right now, our Father God, of how we thank you now. We ask that you would look upon our prayer list and every name that is on that list, Lord. We pray that you would bless them in a mighty way. Lord, bless us and keep us from this virus that so many people are catching. Lord, thank you so much for keeping us. And Lord, we know that you are an awesome, awesome God. Lord, continue to pray for the, We pray for the bereaved families everywhere. And Lord, we have an election coming up. We pray that you will bless us to make the right decision that we won't have to go through four more years of this craziness. Then, Lord, one more thing i got to ask you, Lord. We haven't been able to have worship in your house. And, Lord, we can't do it until you bless the land. Lord, won't you have mercy now? Won't you give them a heal, give them a vaccine, give them something that will allow us to come into your house to worship and to praise you. We ask it all in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just want to thank you for what you've already done. We're leaning and dependent on you and we're trusting you. In all our ways, we're acknowledging you. So Lord, won't you bless us now Bless every family that's represented here. Continue, Lord, like I said. Bless Sister Elma Davis in a special way. Bless Sister Catherine Pinker and the Evergreen Church. And also the Church of God in Christ who lost their pastor this week. Bless every church that's trying to preach thy word. With that, Lord, we say thank you. And Lord, whatever happens, it's all right. Because we know you walk with us, you talk with us, you keep us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And then, Lord, I, I, I keep wanting to end the prayer, but 
I keep thinking about something else we need. Bless all of the pastors that are trying to preach your word. Pastor Joe Smith and all of them, Earl Ward, Pastor Harville up in Detroit, Michigan. Oh Lord, bless them. Bless them in Margaret, Alabama, Lord. Just bless them. In the name of Jesus, we pray now. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to send your tithes and offerings so that we can keep the church open. Please do so. And I thank you in advance for all that you're doing, all that you've been doing. And if you need our help, you need food, let us know. We'll do the best we can to take care of you. Until next week, during our Bible study, during our prayer meeting, and our next week's Sunday service, we'll meet you then if God say the same. So everybody wave goodbye. Everybody